What's up guys, Drew here. How y'all doing? Today we're going to be showing you guys on how to downgrade your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad. That was previously on iOS 5 Beta 1, back down to iOS 4.3.3. So the first thing you guys want to do is come to FelixBurns.com. I will have a link in the video description right down there. So definitely make sure you guys check it out because you will need the firmware to downgrade your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So pretty much what you want to do is come to this site and then simply click the device you wish to downgrade. So today we're going to be showing you guys this on the iPad too. So all you simply have to do is just click on iPad to Wi-Fi, then simply click on your download. It should take about 30 to 40 minutes depending on how fast your internet speed is. So that's pretty much it with that. So let's go ahead and downgrade our device. Alright guys, so the next step is to put our device in DFU mode. So you want to have your device ready and you want to have your USB cable plugged up to your computer. So you want to go ahead and put it in the 30 pin connector and now you want to go ahead and hold your power in the home button. Keep holding it until it powers off completely. Alright, go ahead and release the power and keep holding the home. Okay, now your device should be in DFU mode. So now let's go ahead and jump back to the computer. Okay guys, so after your device is in DFU mode, you want to go ahead and make sure it is still plugged up to the computer. Alright, so the next step is you guys want to go ahead and hit on Restore and Options. So click Option, then Restore. Then you should get this little menu right here. And right here is our iPad 2 firmware. Go ahead and click on Choose. Then it says iTunes will erase and restore iPad to iOS 4.3.3 and we want to hit restore, that's what we want. Then it should extract the software and just give it some time. Okay, we are almost done restoring. You guys should see that little line moving. That means we're almost done. Just give that a few seconds. Almost there. And there you guys go. That's how you downgrade your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad from iOS 5 Beta 1 back down to iOS 4.3.3. If you guys followed my instructions, you guys should have successfully downgraded back down to iOS 4.3.3 so let's go ahead and show you guys here that I am on iOS 4.3.3 and not iOS 5 so let's go into settings let's go to general let's go into about and right there it is version 4.3.3 it's simple as that so that's it so if you guys liked the video go ahead and subscribe right up there give this video a thumbs up right down there and drop your comments down below and check the description out for more information follow us on facebook and twitter and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks a lot for watching i'm out later